But because we don't have the money to hire a full-time director there, uh, he has to operate as not only a full-time as, as the program director, but he also has to operate as dispatch. So a lot of times when you call in to make closing donations and uh, things like that, you usually get to talk to Dan. And if it wasn't for the, to him doing the two jobs, they would be no way possible could we continue to run the center without these kind of people helping us. Have people hurt until you have an opportunity to participate like I have. You have people come in that's been burned out. You have people, you have ladies that has been in an abusive marriage and they have left everything to get out and grab their kids and run to get out of the abusive marriage. You have men that have lost their homes because of their drugs, their alcohol. You have children come in that needs diapers. We give away so much stuff. There's really not any telling how much we give away per day when I'm there. Approximately, I give away 10 to 20 vouchers for clothes every day that I'm there. Furniture, it depends on, really depends on how much they're needing. But usually it's two or three times the day that uh, I'm there that people come in for furniture. Diapers, they come in for diapers. Ladies that can't afford to buy their diapers. You don't understand what you people are giving when you give your dollar. You don't know how much your hundred dollars counts. And your thousand dollars means a whole lot. So before you give tonight, before you even think about giving tonight, I want you to pray to God and ask Him what He's given you. And what He's given you, then you ask Him what you should give here. Thank I appreciate everybody coming out tonight and we'll give you a brief testimony. I came here seven months ago to work in the ministry. Um, but you know what? The Lord brought me here to sit in on these classes. Okay. There's, a lot, there's a lot more problems other than just the drugs and alcohol. I went through a tremendous amount of sexual abuse as a child. Back in the 50s, people didn't talk about it. But sitting under these classes, um, God has shown me through the teachings here, I don't have that fear in me that I had before I came here. I still serve God. And I was effective, but I wasn't as effective as I, I, as I could have been. The Compassion Center ha has taught me through these classes, and, and God bless this man. This man's got a calling on his life. And, and the, the Bible talks about leaving the 99 and going after that one. Okay, I was one of those ones. And there's a whole lot of one people right outside these doors. I thank God for these classes with the Compassion Center and Pastor Holloway and Sister Rosemary. You guys make a difference for He's going through the Christian 12-step program, and if you would, Thomas Morrison, please come up, please. Yeah, I'm going to get up here and give you a bunch of sad talk about how 33 years that I devoted my life to drugs and alcohol took me down through there, because I'm sure you've heard that story before. I'd rather talk more about the story of the joy I have in my heart these days. God is truly blessed. Ever since I've come to the Compassion Center, they open, you know, they welcome me with open arms. They've taken me and they've treated me like one of their own. And that's a feeling I, I, I totally lost, I'd forgotten about. And only through God's grace and my learning, again, how to love Him, because I walked away from Him. He never walked away from me. Right. So uh, every day is a blessing in disguise to me, because life is a wonderful thing now. I never know what might come around the corner next, but I know I can deal with it. But here, pretty, here lately, the stuff around the corner is pretty cool. <laughs> so uh, I can do nothing but thank Pastor Holloway, Mr. Rosemary, all of y'all out there. I know most of you guys anyway. But um, I don't know. I'll keep coming back because I know God is good all the time. And God bless you. Sorry. 
Augustine Lutheran, I came to the Compassion Center a little over a year ago from Bellin Drugs and Alcohol for many years. And after the death of my child, I got back on drugs and alcohol. And um, my sister would always tell me that they would see this uh, movie, this commercial on TV, Compassion Center. So finally, I thought when they did it, it was just a commercial every time. But they told me that it was a movie that they was playing. So I agreed to come to the Compassion Center. When I came to the Compassion Center, I was mentally, physically, emotionally, brain -working. And as I got to the Compassion Center, I really didn't want to be there. I didn't even want to know why I was there. I didn't care about anything even like what that people want. But as I went on through the Compassion Center and the classes were passing you stuff, only I couldn't see because I wore my hats like this today that I you know, the Compassion Center. I didn't care about seeing, I didn't care if anybody seen me. But during those months sitting there in the class with the pastor telling me, and like he was telling my life, and finally I heard something, my voice and everything changed for me. I found the Lord and he came into my life. And I slowly taped my hats off and I could see. Right. And you know, God worked with me. I joined the puppy show. I also did many other things there. I joined the kitchen ministry there. I also joined the ministry that uh, helps clean up around there. With God's help, thank you. Okay.